So now let's take it a step further and let's cover scripts and let's cover triggers. First let me go back to my sensor and I want to modify a few values. Under my sensor I want to on enter times I want to set it to 1 and on leave times I want to set it to 0. These are the values that are commonly used by code 2 level designers. Next I don't want to have this woman disappear. I want her to appear and I want her to stay there. So I'm going to delete on leave action to empty. Next I set up another sensor. This sensor has no properties defined in them. And I just put a crate so I know where the sensor is. This is just so I know where to go uh, to have my script and my trigger to be activated. Um, so what I want to happen is I want Marissa to disappear when I walk into the sensor. And the way I'm going to do that is through script and trigger. First, double click on your sensor and let's set up on enter, create a new entry and let's create action script. So action script, now you can input the script name. The name of the script can be anything you want. What the important values are, con equals to one. By default, the script that you set is always equal to zero unless you define it. When you set a script to zero, it's always active. When you set a script to one, that means it needs to be checked first before it gets activated. So I want my script to be checked. And when it's true, when something happens and the trigger says, yes, the script has been activated, then I want something to happen. This name could be anything you want. And my value is set to one, means it needs to be checked first. Once you have that set, go to type and input trigger. Add new object, and here we have our new trigger. Now, on condition, I want to set condition expression. This means that it will check our script. And if it's true, something will happen. So, uh, let me set condition, expression. Now, the expression needs to be checked. This is where our trigger checks. If our script has been activated, so under expression, you have to type in your script that you just input into the sensor. We need to check our script. So, name of the script, two equal signs, and one. What that means, it's check in the script and if this script is true then you define an action and on my action I want to type disappear and I want her to disappear so select target right click and set attribute so let me cover this again one when I walk into this circle two things happen this model this AI appears and five seconds later, through an action chain, Marissa appears. Then, when I leave, both of them stay on screen. Because I set up on leave to zero, and I took away on leave action. So all we see is appearing two models, uh, one through a sensor, and the other one is through an action chain. Then, what I wanted to happen is, when I enter this sensor, I have a script that gets cre uh, that gets uh, checked. So on enter, action script, this is the script. Then I have a trigger. So go to object, then I have a trigger. And uh, trigger is set to condition expression, and expression is a script. The expression is, name of the script, needs to be checked, value of one. If this is true, then an action happens. My action that I chose is action appear and type is I want her to disappear and the model is set here. Now let's jump in game and see if our uh, script uh, script works. Now we have our crate and I walk in, she appears a few seconds later Marissa should appear she does and let's see if we have our script and our trigger activated and it works. So now we covered sensors, we covered scripts, we covered action chains, and we covered triggers. I know this is a lot of stuff and it's very advanced, 
But if you really understand this, if you really get this, this is where you really get good. We have covered a lot of advanced work here and this could be very overwhelming so I'm going to give you a few tips that you can start using uh, and understanding better at how AI, how behavior, how actions, how everything works and ties together. Go to Quest Elements and place any of the already predetermined AI that's been set for you in the editor. So go ahead and place any of these uh, any of these quest elements. So I'm going to head and place dual and begin by first going in and start looking at how Techland level designers uh, set up their actions and their, their behaviors. So start double clicking and going into object attributes and start looking at what is set up and how everything is working. You can see that uh, a lot of actions, a lot of players, and you can start going through and seeing which properties they modified. You can start clicking on each one of these waypoints and and seeing how they tied everything together. Another important thing is that if you go to your object list and go to all, when you place any of the quest elements, uh, you will have a lot of action uh, and action chains uh, placed in your object selection. So if you go to triggers, so if you go to action chain and look at the action chains they created already, you can see that there's been 14 objects created in this uh, particular action chain. And you can start looking at each one of these and studying them. And this will give you a great beginning of how Techland created uh, their duels, created their uh, AI behavior, and you can start understanding this a lot better. And then you can start applying uh, to your own AI and start modifying it and start uh, creating more advanced behaviors of your AI in your map.